Okay, hey boos. Um, you're gonna be mad, but I wanted to come and show you my hair. Oh my god. Um, Is that, can you have it? Just a little mohawk fro. No, it's it's not. Oh my god. It's a no, no, no. I have to get back. In the other side. In the bank. Um, you're gonna be mad because I didn't do a tutorial on it. Um, I woke up with plans to do the tutorial as I made it because I knew I wanted to wear a fro hat for Christmas Eve and Christmas. So it's okay, I'm going to wake up and I'll just record it while I do it. Well, I still have videos on my camera and my laptop. It doesn't really give good lighting from the angle that it has to sit at in my new bathroom. And so, um, and it just took these, the videos that were on there, it took them about 10 minutes to do. And I was kind of rushing to get out the house. And I didn't Sorry. But, um... I'll probably do it again like Sunday or maybe tomorrow because I have one of them to one of the bands too tight and my head is hurting. But basically what I did is I used one, two, three, four, five, five rubber bands. I just took my hair. Oops. Oops. I just took my hair and basically took my fingers like this, um, and then, see that's one rubber band, and you don't want to really start with your fingers from the side because you'll get these parts like I have, but you can always brush them over, but I was rushing, and I really don't care about the parts. So I just took my finger and then did it like that at the very bottom. And then I rubber banded it. And then I did it again. And then rubber band it. Rubber band it. Rubber band it. And then at the top, I have oh no, another rubber band. And then to make it kind of stick up some more, even though I bobby pinned it down. I put another rubber band up here at the top because it kind of squeezes it in. If you bobby pin it, it doesn't really have the same effect to me. So when I came to the top, I made my bang first, then I did that. And when I got to the top, I just um, took one more section and rubber banded. And then I bobby pinned. Hold on. Let me fix. Then I just bobby pinned like some that was like sticking out this way. One that kept sticking out over here, but it wasn't really falling right. And then I just like did like this. Like fluffed it. It's, it took me like not even five minutes. This is a twist out from the twist video I was supposed to upload. But I made so many different clips of it because I kept going from my camera view to my computer view that... Um, I haven't had the chance to put together yet. Make sure it's recording. So yeah, I did, um, Summer, what's her name? Summer 1983? 1985? One of them. I did her method of twisting where you don't see any parts because you do it in an angle. It worked wonderful. I will get that uploaded this week. Except when I got to the top, it didn't really work that good at the last, the last few sections but everywhere else in my head you can see any parts it was awesome great so i did that and i had pretty big twists i'll, I'll insert a picture here and yeah my twists were my twists were pretty big i didn't do many twists i did many twists before and then did this style and of course it was just more coily more sections I think it still came out cute with the pretty big twist. So if you're like me and you're like combed, comb challenged and um, bobby pin challenged 
And you don't want to have a hundred things in your head? Rubber bands. Oh, really good. It's a movie. No one's cussing. It's a movie. So anyway, rubber bands. Um, and I promise I'll um I'll do a tutorial on it. Um, really quick, I want to tell you about my lip gloss. The reason why it does not match my eyeshadow, why this is pink and this is more of a fall, is because I was just playing around with my trying to make figure out this Mac. I wanted to be able to see the color more, and they were saying that some people put concealer on their lips and then do this. And that didn't work for me because it really just blended in the lip gloss with the concealer. So I was like, well, let me try my my um milk pencil, my NYX milk pencil, forgetting that it's like smooth, and try that and mix it with this. Well, when I did, I didn't get the color I wanted, but I still think I came out with a cute color. Can you see? It's all pinky, like frost pink. Again, it does not match. I'm not trying to match. I was just playing with lip gloss, waiting on the pimple, waiting on the videos to upload. So, anyway, that's how I got that color. So, if you have like a funky lip gloss that you don't really like that much, which I like it, you can't really see. Try your milk, maybe, and mix some white with it, make it lighter, or mix some dark concealer with it and make it darker. I don't know. Make some dark eyeshadow with it. Make it darker. But even though it doesn't match what I have on, I like the color. So now if I want to get like this frosted pink look that's not clear, that's actually frosted, then I'm just going to mix these two. Maybe this and another another pink to get this frosted look. So anyway, okay, I got to go. Have a um, Merry Christmas. Good Christmas Eve. Enjoy God's blessings. Remember the reason for the season. What else do we say? Go to church. If you don't go to church on Christmas, ooh, you can watch church. Watch our church on www.ibocjoy.org. I-B-O-C-J-O-Y.org. Let it play while you're opening Christmas gifts or something. Give God a little time on Christmas. Peace. I want to tell him. Come back and say, if some of you do try to do this before I do the tutorial or even after I do the tutorial, I did just want to say, um, I do cut these out of my hair. If you can't do it, let someone else do it. I do not pull their bands out of my hair. I don't care how careful you try to be. It's going to pull your hair out. You do a lot better just cutting it, letting the rubber band unravel. You might get one hair stuck in there from how you put it on. But, um, so what I do is I pretty much almost pop myself because it's just me and my husband. And I just pull the rubber band like way out here or where I can see it, the way away from my hair. And I like put my fingers. Let me show you. If this is the hair, I pretty much pull the rubber band like this. And then I stick my fingers in between it like that. So this is my hair. This is my hair up here. That way I can make sure I'm not accidentally cutting any hair. And then so while I'm pulling it like that, then I take it and I cut. Because if you just pull it like this and you're just like this, you really see. You really can't see if you got hairs mixed in there. But if you kind of spread it out like that. Then you can get a good, you know, if it is a hair period, you know, you can cut down here, whatever. Basically, I'm saying, cut it out your hair. Either you do it or somebody you trust to do it. Do not take rubber bands out of your hair yourself. And try to be very careful putting rubber bands on your hair. Um, it's kind of hard to do, but try to be careful putting them on your hair. But if you cut it out, even if you kind of got a hair wrapped around there, the rubber band normally just kind of wraps back around it. I've never pulled hair out of my head taking this out. Keep that in mind, okay? This is...